In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to easily integrate a USB-powered siren with the alarm port of a Hikvision security system. This method allows you to enhance your security setup by triggering the siren based on specific events detected by your Hikvision camera system. By following the steps outlined in this video, you will learn how to connect and configure the components to ensure your siren is effectively integrated and ready to alert you to any security breach. For this project, you will need a USB cable and a 5 volt power siren or buzzer. You can use your existing mobile charging or data cable for this project. Cut the charging side connector to access the power wires. Typically, a USB data cable contains four wires, while a charging only cable usually has two wires. In a four wire setup, use the red and black wires for power. For a charging cable, the setup is the same, again, use the red and black wires for power and remove the additional data wires. Note, this is the simplest and easiest way to connect the siren using the DVR panel's USB power. You can extend the distance of the siren by using a longer USB cable or by joining additional wires to place it in a different location. Please keep in mind that USB can supply power effectively up to 10 to 20 meters, so plan accordingly. For more integration methods, please follow our channel. To test the siren with the DVR's USB power, ensure it works effectively with the DVR's USB output and that the panel provides the necessary pin output for your needs before beginning the integration with the alarm port. Connect the siren using the USB cable, making sure to observe the correct polarity. The red wire represents the positive connection, while the black wire represents the negative connection to be connected with the siren's wires. Note, you can also try using a 12-volt siren, including smaller types with lower decibel levels, but the sound output may be reduced. However, it is recommended to use a 5-volt siren with this method for optimal performance. The latest version of Hikvision DVRs comes with an alarm port that includes additional terminals for connecting the siren or other alarm input wires. Make sure to attach the alarm port terminal that is included with the DVR package. The alarm port typically comes with four input terminals and one output terminal. The input terminals can be used for devices such as door sensors, motion detectors, water sensors, or other types of sensors. The output terminal can be used to connect a siren or a relay, which can be utilized to control AC devices as well. If the siren is producing sound as expected, disconnect the negative wire from the siren. Secure the USB negative wire with insulation tape to prevent any short circuits. GN terminal to confirm that the siren is functioning. This is because the DVR alarm port is connected to ground, providing a negative supply. If this test also confirms that the siren is working correctly, then finally connect the siren's negative wire to the DVR alarm output port terminal, as shown in the following diagram. Once you have completed the wiring as per the diagram, you are ready to enable your preferred event method on the DVR configuration page. This will allow the alarm to sound when an event occurs according to your setup. Log into your DVR using the admin account to enable the events. In this demonstration, we will show how to trigger the siren using video loss, 
as we have not connected any camera devices in this demo DVR. You can configure various event detections, such as motion detection, perimeter protection, and line crossing, based on your specific needs. All alarm setups can be configured on the DVR configuration page. Navigate to the Event section to configure normal events. Remember that the siren can produce sound for a certain duration, which can be set under the Alarm Output page. Here, you can adjust the dwell time to determine how long the siren will sound for each triggered event. Additionally, the arming schedule is configured by default for 24-7 operation, but you can edit this schedule to specify when the siren is active. As I mentioned earlier, this demo DVR is not connected to any cameras, which is why I am demonstrating the video loss alarm event. This event triggers the siren sound when the camera feed is lost or when a camera is disconnected from the designated port. In your setup, you can also explore other event options, such as motion detection and line crossing. Once you have enabled the events and configured their arming schedule, navigate to the Linkage Action section within the Alarm Output Linkage tab. Make sure to check the Local 1 option to set the siren to activate and the specified event is triggered. Maximize your DVR's alarm port by integrating various sensors and output devices. Follow our channel for essential tips and tricks. Your likes and shares motivate us to create more content and help others discover our videos.